actually to um, uh, hold this uh, webinar. So um, what I will do today is to um, introduce REAP to you, which is the organization I work for, and uh, show you our search engine for renewable energy and energy efficiency. And afterwards, I'll do my best to answer all your questions. Um, short introduction from my side. My name is Florian Bauer. I'm working for REAP since uh, two and a half years now as the operations and IT manager. And I am um, therefore responsible for uh, the product management for Regal, our search engine. I'll come back to that later. Um, the agenda for today is I will go through a short introduction uh, of REAP. Uh, we'll keep that very short and then a uh, few slides on Regal and then we'll shift to the live demonstration because I think that's much more interesting than just seeing slides. Good, let's start. Um, what is REAP? Uh, REAP is a private-public partnership, a non-profit NGO um, registered in Austria uh, but acting worldwide uh, with the aim to uh, create market f um, uh, f facilities for renewable energy and energy efficiency. So um, we have in in we try to do it this in three different ways. One way is to is our bottom up approach, which is making projects in uh, several different regions of the world. Um, we have six regional secretariats worldwide, and uh, once a year. We do a call for projects where we fund uh, with uh, money that we get from governments um, projects uh, on renewable energy and energy efficiency. Um, the second thing is uh, that we work uh, very hard with governments and the private sector uh, to improve access to energy, to um, yeah, uh, create, help, help to create laws and regulation to improve uh, energy efficiency and renewables all over the world. And the third thing we do is uh, we do some uh, strategic activities. One of the strategic activities is our search engine Regal. Um, here you see a map of all uh, of some of our partners um, worldwide. So at the moment we have 270 partners, whereas uh, 46 of them are governments, so you see the outreach is uh, really good. And on the REAP website, uh, which is www.reap with three times e.org, uh, we have a network called Friends of REAP. Uh, this is about 3,000 3, at the moment, and um, I invite you to have a look on that and maybe sign up and uh, see what the network uh, <coughs> can, can uh, bring to you. Yeah, as I mentioned before, we have six regional secretariats. Um, the regional secretariats are lo located in North America. I'm happy to see one of our representatives from North America here. It's Maria. Hello. Um, another secretariat in Latin America and the Caribbean, um, one in South Africa, uh, one in East Asia, one in South Asia, and one in South East, East Asia and Pacific. Um, we don't. We we work um, with governments and we work uh, with some global strategic partners, uh, which is a guarantee for us that we have a good impact. So here you see a, a small list of uh, partners we work with. Yeah, here again. This is the slide I uh, introduced before. <laughs> this is the three types of services we do on the left side I'll try to point yes on the left side you see our project side so it's uh, mainly projects in regulatory and policy and finance and business and um, here you have the services one is regal um, publications and so on and um, on the right side you see some strategic activities of us uh, you can get more information on all of these activities on the website um, just a very short introduction to, to the, the upper three. Uh, one is CERN, it's our Sustainable Ener Energy Regulators Network. Um, they make uh, very valuable um, publications on um, 
laws and regulations on renewable energy and energy efficiency and um, you can access all this information on the REAP website. There is a database where you can can look up um, laws and regulations for different countries. This is a um, very valuable source. The other one is REAL. It's our um, um, renewable energy in, uh, investments um, project and the EEC, the Energy Efficiency Coalition, is a group of people which are um, mainly focused on driving renew uh, energy efficiency. Yeah, all our projects um, feed in all this or in most of these categories. This is one of the added value we have. Um, for many people, um, often the projects are very interesting because we do this uh, call for projects once a year. Just a very short, uh, a very few words on that. Um, there is a once a year call. It, it, this is announced on the website. You can apply um, if you have good project ideas. Um, the funding is up to 100,000 euros per project and the projects are mainly focused on the plus five countries and uh, some selected LDCs. Um, and uh, every year there is another um, target area which we want you to, to focus on. Um, but uh, this depends on the call itself. So if you are a project developer and if you have good project ideas, um, sign up um, at the website. You will get the information when the next call is taking place and maybe you have the chance that you get your project funded. Um, short overview about the actual status of projects. Uh, we have uh, we've had 130 projects, whereas of uh, 45 are successfully completed, three are unsuccessful. And at the moment, we are implementing 79 projects. Good. This is again the map uh, showing where the projects are taking place. As you see, it's developing countries and the plus five. Um, the split is something that's for us very important. We always try to have a very balanced split between um, policy and, and finance and between energy efficiency and renewable energy projects. So we try to keep that 50-50. That's it about REAP. Um, hope it wasn't too boring. So um, I will make the next step and switch over to um, the topic from today, which is uh, navigating through the information jungle. Um, one of our main aims is to disseminate uh, information and best practices. And uh, a few years ago, we thought about uh, how we could do this in the best way. And uh, we decided to um, create a search engine for renewable energy and energy efficiency. Um, as you see, the word regal is uh, quite similar to Google. So what we try to do is to make a special Google kind search engine for renewable energy and energy efficiency. And yeah, we're quite successful with that. And um, therefore, I would like to show you um, a bit more detailed information on that. So I'm switching presentation. I hope this works. Good. So what is Regal? Um, with Regal, we tried to create a one-stop shop for renewable energy and energy efficiency, which means that we uh, always try to have the whole range of um, documents there, which cover laws and regulations, news, uh, statistical data, project activity reports, and so on. And as I said, this is nothing we host on our own site. It is a search engine, so it is collected from um, all different um, sources worldwide. Um, I think this is a, a pretty good uh, thing because there is a lot of high quality information online and um, you just have to find it. So the question is what is the difference to other search engines? What is the difference to Google? Why should you use Regal? Um, um, I just uh, I have a few points here. 
One is that um, we are focused only on renewable energy and energy efficiency, so you will not find information on uh, other energy um, forms on, on Regal, and all the, the information you can find is reviewed by internal experts. That doesn't mean that we read every document which is in there, because it's more than 300,000 now, that would be a lot, but uh, we select the sources that are included in Regal. So our expert team is reviewing the sources like, uh, for example, World Bank or Leonardo Energy or um, the UNIDO site. And if we think this is a high quality site, we include it in Regal. If um, we don't think that, then it will not appear in Regal. Um, the second thing is that we um, created kind of an intelligent search mechanism. Now, every search mechanism should be intelligent, but um, um, we introduced some features that you can broaden or narrow your search, uh, which makes it easier to find the relevant information. Um, I will show you that in the live demonstration uh, afterwards. Then to um, complete the the, the theme around uh, an information gateway, we have all the latest news and events on the site and a uh, blog that I personally like a lot. Um, and we have a catalog of, re of, we call it actors, this is a stake, uh, key stakeholders in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Um, this is a very um, um, high frequented uh, part of Regal because it shows um, a lot of actors, NGOs, uh, project developers, ministries, and so on, on, on in one place, and you can find information on them, the addresses, contact details, and so on. And one of the new features is a map-based application. Uh, I'll show it later. So where do we get uh, the information from? Uh, it is uh, three different parts. The first are the internet sources, this is the, the, the broad base of information we have. So we look around in the internet to find um, high quality sources and we include them. The second thing is we have uh, specific knowledge partnerships uh, with some um, organizations where we get a bit more information, where we have um, cooperation that we get informed about new things and that we get access to databases. So these are World Bank, Unido, IEA, and Leonardo Energy is one of our knowledge partners. And this, uh, the third thing is our own database, which is uh, the, the Actors catalog I just talked about. So we can shift this. Yeah, this is uh, the list of the knowledge partners. So here you can see a full list of all our knowledge partners. Good. Uh, recently finished activities. Yeah, this is just a slide about what we did in the last few months. Uh, we introduced the map. Um, I'll show that. And we completely redesigned Regal after um, some usability reviews. So I hope uh, you find it uh, very uh, user friendly. And if not, or if you have any suggestions, I'm very happy to get feedback afterwards. Um, you always can drop me an email and uh, we'll take this into our next uh, project meeting. Good. So um, that was fast, um, and I would like to uh, shift uh, over to the live demonstration. So this could take a few seconds. Just be patient, please. So. Good. I don't see any complaints in the in the chat that you don't see the screen, right? So I hope everybody of you um, sees my screen and my mouse cursor. So I'll go forward. Yeah, what you see here is the the start page of Regal. Um, on top you have the, um, the the main search bar, which is uh, which you know from Google, Yahoo, Bing, other search engines. And uh, in the bottom, you have some additional things. We call that widgets. Um, there are widgets about news. You can uh, read the, the latest news. There is a widget about our conference partners. Um, a few 
um, lines about our blog, a glossary, uh, which is very useful too, um, even for me. So if I'm looking for, um, uh, if I don't know what the word in renewable energy, energy efficiency means, I always can can look that up and get a description on that. And last but not least, uh, a list of a uh, few important documents that we have. So let's see what we can do with Regal. Um, <coughs> I will demonstrate that with um, a search yeah, um, what could we do? We could search for energy law in China. Um, it hopefully does what it should do. Uh, it searches for documents about energy law in China. And um, as you see, this is um, very um, broad, uh, very narrowed because uh, we only have um, these uh, um, high quality sources here. Um, you see a list uh, of um, results about energy law in China. And on the right hand side you have what I uh, described before, this uh, quite of intelligent search mechanism where you can uh, broaden or narrow ser your search. So um, you can have a look on the suggested terms and uh, you, if you are looking for example uh, for building codes, uh, law and regulation or laws in, in China with building codes, you just click on the small plus and uh, it will refine your search accordingly to what you just did and you see a much more uh, tailored uh, output of um, the result list. The same is possible in the other way around so the minus at, the, at, at, um, at this box means that you want to exclude something. So you could say I'm looking for uh, um, energy law in China, but it should not be, uh, I don't know, uh, something about um, tax. So you could exclude that, it would reload the site and uh, you would get a tailored res um, result again. So, um, yeah, what we can do in addition is if you don't want to type in your search terms, you can uh, use the advanced search, which is um, a possibility to um, build the search phrase uh, by the system. So you see here on the left side, you see some sectors that you can choose. You see, see some regions that you can choose and type of information. Um, so um, we could say you are interested in wind energy documents from Africa, I don't know. Well, let's choose uh, Canada. There's a lot of wind things going on. And um, at the bottom you could say I'm interested only in PDFs, only in docs, or only on websites. And uh, here you could even um, define the type of information you're looking for. But for demonstration, I'll just click on search now. Yeah, and you see a result of uh, 317 documents about wind, wind energy in, in Canada. And um, yeah, this is often very useful because you can, uh, with a few clicks, you, you get a comprehensive uh, list of results. Uh, of documents that you're looking for. Um, I just want to mention that um, the results, um, that the whole database is available in English, in Spanish and in French. So if we switch to French it will not be a lot but at least there is one result for a French document about uh, wind energy in uh, Canada. Good, so that was the advanced search. Um, yeah, I hope I can answer your questions afterwards. If you have some questions. Good, then let's go to the second part. This is the new part, um, the map. Uh, last year we introduced, uh, with funding from the Environment Ministry of Germany, we introduced a new uh, feature in Regal which is called Regal Maps. and what we try to do there is to display information about renewable energy and energy efficiency um, 
based on their local occurrence. So uh, what you see here, the first thing you see here, it's um, already ticked this news. Um, what we do there is uh, we have several uh, high quality news providers about renewable energy and energy efficiency news. And um, you now can see on the map what happened in the last week and where did it happen. So um, because it's a lot, I go a bit deeper and click on Asia. And you see there's a lot going on in Asia. And uh, for example, I could now click on Japan and uh, get the most recent news on renewable energy and energy efficiency topics that, are, that happened in Japan. Uh, they proposed a plan on technology funding and fight, fighting climate change. So you can read more. And if you click on this read more button, you will get the full article. Now go back to Asia. Um, in addition, what you can do is you can again filter this by the categories we had before. So um, you could say I'm uh, only interested in, uh, let's again take wind energy news. So now you see only the news that uh, occurred on wind energy and let's click on Mongolia. Uh, you see the news from the last days, the last months that happened in Mongolia on uh, wind energy. In addition, you can define your date range. So you could say, I'm, I'm only interested in the last two weeks, so in the last month. And um, again, you can define all these different sectors um, in renewable energy, in energy efficiency, to narrow your search. OK, that was the news part of, um, of the map. So on the left side, we, you see we have some additional things that we can show. Um, the first one, the second one is uh, key events. This is just a, a list or we showcase some of the most important events that are taking place in the next weeks or months. Uh, so if you click on the United States, you see there is a ref event in San Francisco next week, this week, this week and the Energy Justice Conference and so on. Again, if you click on it, you'll get more details and um, uh, the possibility to register at these events. Good. Then we have country profiles. Country profiles uh, is our try to make it easy to find a comprehensive list of information on um, all countries worldwide. Um, so let's go to Europe. You see every country has uh, one of these small flags and uh, behind each of these flags there is a list of useful information about this country. So I'll click on Iceland. You see there is a direct link to see a fake fact book of uh, this country. There is the Wikipedia country profile, the IEA country pro energy profile and so on. And uh, for uh, most of the countries, we have a direct link to the World Bank documents that are relevant for these countries. And for uh, all the countries that our CERN project covers with uh, the law and regulation um, research, you can directly click on that to get the um, actual laws and regulations on renewable energy. This is available for every country worldwide. So if you have... Um, to do some research, um, you can do this uh, very easily here. Yeah, and the last one um, is the actors part. Um, I would like to skip that for the moment because I would like to introduce the actors catalog itself before we do that. But um, we have uh, still something to show. It's uh, the projects. At the moment, we have uh, the REAP projects, this is the projects that we do at the moment um, on the map. So again, if you're interested in seeing what uh, projects are ongoing at the moment, you can click on the country, get a list of projects that actually are ongoing and a more detailed description. And since a few weeks, we have the APP, the Asian Pacific Partnership projects here too. Um, these are not a lot of flags because it's, uh, they are only taking place in some countries, but in each of these countries there is there are a lot of projects. So 
Um, this can be a very valuable information um, source if you are researching what uh, projects are going on at the moment. Good. And let's go to the Actors Catalog. The Actors Catalog is, as I said, a um, catalog about stakeholders in renewable energy and energy efficiency. So you have two different um, possibilities to search in this catalog. The first one is you can just type in uh, the name of the organization if you already know it. Uh, click on search and uh, you will get a list of organizations where this name is mentioned and uh, you click on the right one, the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Partnership and then you see a detailed description with the address, uh, you can show the location in Google Maps, you get a phone number and an email address and you can uh, read about the mission and the activities of this organization. So. Um, this can be very useful if you're um, trying to find organizations in a certain um, country or um, uh, on a certain topic. So if you don't already know the name, uh, there is a possibility to find to get a list of organizations that could be useful for you. I go back. Um, you see here again <coughs> what we already had before, these uh, lists where you can choose several different things. Um, in the actors catalog we have the type of the actor, so you have business and industry with business associations, financing, manufacturers, ins um, installers and so on, government and agencies, um, international organizations and so on. So for the moment let's try government and agencies. And then again you have in the middle column uh, you can choose uh, which country or region um, uh, you want to, to, to look for. So, um, I will choose South Africa for the moment. Good. And on the right side, you again could um, narrow it by the uh, different sectors that we already know. So, let's see what ministries we have in uh, ministries and regulators we have in South Africa. We have three of them listed uh, the Department of Mineral and Energy, and the Ministry, and the National Regulator. So uh, very easy to find contact details of the National Energy Regulator in South, Afri in South Africa. Click on it, you'll get the details. Good. Um, now the last part on um, how you can use Regal is that I wanted to show you um, the advantage of registering for Regal. It's, it's uh, free because it's a public uh, funded project. Um, if you register for Regal, you can do a few different different things. Um, sorry, I clicked on a button that I shouldn't click. Um, you can, the first thing you can is you can build your personal start page, uh, which is available from every computer that you log on uh, from this moment. So that means, uh, let me log in. Reap.org. Uh, typing a password is always fun. Yes, I remembered it. Um, so what you can do is you ca can customize your start page. If you click on that button, you see there are a lot of other widgets that you could add to your start page and that from this time on you see always on your start page. We have some Berkeley classes, very interesting if you have a bit time you can listen to all the Berkeley classes on our energy regulation, energy uh, environment law and renewable energy. Very interesting stuff. There is a carbon footprint calculator, some climate change videos, um, printers ecu cal 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 calculator pr that calculates uh, uh, some footprint for your printouts, um, presentations and uh, some renewable energy videos. And if I click on add now, it will be added to your start page and you see here is a new box on your start page which is now showing uh, some of the most interesting videos on renewable energy on YouTube. It's good fun to, to watch that. I did a few of them then I ran out of time but um, you get everyday new videos and this can be a very interesting thing. 
you can do this with every widget and if you don't like one of the widgets that we already selected you can easily just close it and it's gone from your start page. The second thing that you can do when you register is that you have um, um, a list of bookmarks and your search history there. So when you're logged in and you search it will go automatically to your search history and from this time on you can simply click on this link and it will do the search again. So I do that. This is the search that we um, did before and you see the search result again and if you find the page very interesting you can easily bookmark this page, click on bookmark and then it is in your bookmarks page. Um, I use that a lot for some of re some researches that I did and this uh, was very useful for me. Yeah, and now the last part of things that you can do when you will uh, um, have an account is that you can suggest your own actor to us. So if you are an organization, a project developer or company that wants to be listed in our actors catalog, you just have to register, um, get a profile, as I said it's free, and click on the suggest actor box here. Then you have to fill in the details of your organization and our experts will review that and if it fits to our aims, um, if it fits into Regal, we will release that and from this time on your organization is listed in the Actors Catalog. That brings me um, to another part that I wanted to show you um, how you can get involved with us or how you can um, get more out of Regal. Um, the first thing is you can suggest sources. Here you have a suggest source button, so if you know a source where you think it, this, this is very important, very useful, you can send it to us and we will review it. Um, to avoid duplicates, you, we have here a search, search bar, so if we type in uh, reap.org, for example, you will see it's already there, so you don't have to do anything. This source is already covered. If it doesn't, uh, if it isn't there, uh, like this fancy uh, website, um, then you can suggest it and we will have a look on that and if we decide it's okay then we will take it into Regal and from this time on all the documents from this site can be found via Regal. Yeah, and the last thing that um, I want to show you for today is uh, the Add Regal to your site box. So if you have your own website, you can easily integrate Regal into this site. Um, this is very useful for um, a lot of sites because you can use the whole technology, our whole uh, amount of time that we use to, to get the best sources and just present it on your website. Um, we've created some widgets that you easily can integrate. So um, I'll start with the one at the bottom. Um, for example, the um, integrated search. This is how you can bring the Regal search on your site. So you click on that, you get for your developers the uh, the code. They can easily integrate it on the on the website. And I click on preview, and it looks like that. So you have on your website, then you have a box with Regal integrated search. And if a, some of your users type in something, you will get the results out of Regal. Very easy, very useful. Um, the same you can do with the, the Regal Glossary, for example, you can include that or uh, our clean energy documents, our news and events. This can be, all of this can be included uh, into your website. Um, if you have any questions on that, if you need help, if you need support, just drop me an email. My uh, email address is listed on all the presentations. Good. Um, just a few words to, to finish my presentation and then we can go to the Q&A's. Um, one thing I would like to, to show you is um, the Regal blog. The Regal blog is um, a very interesting source about clean energy topics. I hope you all see that. Um, it's blog.regal.info and if you're interested in this field um, you can read our, doc, our, our, our articles. Uh, we are happy to receive comments from you. Um, 
if some one of you wants to contribute to this blog, wants to drop us an article or something like that, send it to me. We'll have a look on that and maybe write uh, something about this topic that you that you suggested. Good. Um, and finally, uh, a short outreach. What will happen in the in the next uh, weeks? Uh, we will finally launch the whole uh, Regal system on uh, in Spanish and French. So the interface will be um, translated too, not only the sources. And um, another step that we will do in December is we will introduce the uh, statistical data on the map. So from in I would say in January or February, uh, you will be able to view statistical data like the renewable energy share or something like that on the Regal map as an overlay. So it will be easy to combine uh, statistical data with actual information like the news or the actors or something like that. And we hope that will be a useful extension. Good. Hans, thank you very much. Um, it was a pleasure to have this uh, presentation and I'm happy to answer your questions now.